Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here and welcome to a brand new Let's Play on my channel. I have decided that I'm going to play The Novelist. Every so often I like to do non-Sims games for you guys so we can explore gaming a bit more together and this time I have chosen to do The Novelist. I've not read much into this game, I just know that it is about a novelist and his family and his family relationships. That's all I pretty much know from this game. It's new to me and hopefully it's new to you guys. If it's not, I hope you enjoy this Let's Play anyway. I like to spread out my channel a bit, not just solely focus on The Sims. For example, I've done a Gone Home Let's Play before, so if you haven't checked that out, definitely go do that because that's a brilliant game. So the novelist I bought on Steam, I can't really remember how much it was, I think I got it on a humble bundle sale, um, but I will leave the link in the description below if you guys do want to purchase this game, and we are just going to hop straight into a new game. Uh, yeah, I just played a little quick tutorial just to get me a bit used to it, so we are going to start a new game. There are two difficulties of this game. You can either be stealth, in which the Kaplans, who are the family, can see you, so you have to stay out of their sight, or story mode, in which they won't be able to see you, which means you are able to explore the game freely. I am going to go for story mode because I just suck at stealth. I am terrible at it, so we're going to stick to story for this let's play. And this is a new game to me, so and hopefully it's a new game to you as I said, so we're going to go with the brief tutorial and just get straight into it. Here we go. The Novelist. Oh, someone's at the door. Hello? This is it. Wow, look at this place. Still can't believe the deal we got. Where's my room? Right up there, buddy. So that was the family which this game surrounds, the Kaplans. And it says W to emerge. Oh, there we go. W A S D standard procedures in a click through game and the mouse to move around. Gotcha. So let's uh, head over to this. Look at the letter on the dining room table and read it by pressing space. Here we go, here's the dining room, space. Mr. Kaplan, welcome to your home for the summer. We're very excited to have you. This is one of our most popular properties and I'm sure you and your family will have a memorable visit. We have you booked through August 31st. Your security deposit has cleared and our cleaning service freshened everything up on Saturday. You can buy groceries at McClendon's in town and if you'd like to eat dinner out there are quite a few restaurants on Meridian Ave just off Fairview. If you have any questions or if you run into any trouble at all please don't hesitate to call Pete Fuller Hanniger Rentals Sydney Bluffs Oregon is that? I don't know my states. Sorry if that's not. So there we go. We read that. Look at the light fixture and press space to possess it. Whoa. You can possess any light fixture in the house by looking at it and pressing space. You can even jump from one light fixture to another in order to move through the house more quickly. Okay. Use possession to reach the office upstairs. Okay, so we're gonna go here. And we're gonna go here. And then over here. Where's the office? Um. Uh. Where's the office? <laughs> Is this it? Oh, there we go. I get bit it! We got the hang of it. Six days later. We'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Hmm. 
Your goal in each chapter is to figure out the dilemma facing Dan and decide how he should resolve the situation. Each member of the family desires a different outcome and it's up to you to decide which path to take. If you learn the desires of more than one chapter, you can unco uncover compromises that will help the family. Press E to continue. Writer's Block. So this is the name of this chapter I'm guessing. After a week at the house, the, and then it stops. Return to the office upstairs and look for a clue. Okay. Uh, this lamp. And then, uh, which way was it? Right there. Dan's journal is on the desk. Read it. Writer's block. I can't believe I just wrote that. Writer's block. There, again. Those two words are apparently the only damn thing I can write. I don't think it's been this bad since high school. Mr. Holder's class, an essay about Faulkner. Dan Kaplan, little-known author of Tramer's Way and Windsong, has run out of steam. Closed my eyes last night and saw a literary register article about myself. That was the first line. Paul wants three chapters next week, and so far I've got 2,000 words so sloppy I can barely read them. I cannot blow my schedule. Paul said Grovefield's been very clear about what comes next if I keep slipping deadlines. Why did this happen as soon as we got here? This was supposed to simplify things, but so far it's been nothing but staring at a blank page. <sighs> Maybe a walk will help, or a long drive, or a drink. So that's Dan's entry on Writer's Block. Each character has a number of writings or drawings to discover. You found one of Dan's. Now that you know what's troubling him, you should search the house for more to for him to discover more about his dilemma. So we are going to go and try and find Dan to discover a little more about him. Sorry if you guys can hear the tapping outside. Um, my neighbours are doing something or other. Um, oh this is his kids room, we're just going to have a walk around the house, we need to find him in his bedroom, oh here he is, when you look at a character you can press space to see what they're thinking about, if this doesn't work, The cloud around Dan's head indicates that he's remembering specific moments from the past. You have the ability to explore his memories to learn more about the current chapter. Approach Dan from behind and press space to enter his memory. Okay. Now that you've entered Dan's memory, you can explore it freely. Follow the sounds to locate different moments that are on his mind. When you find a specific moment, press space to uncover more about what's troubling Dan in this chapter. You can exit Dan's memory whenever you wish and you can return to it at any time by approaching him from behind and pressing space. Okay. Follow the sound to discover memories. Do you think coming here will help? Do you think coming here will help? It has to. Okay. So that's his wife. And now we have to find one more. Oh, there we go. Let's go downstairs and see what this is all about. Oh, can we? Tommy rode into town with me today. He saw some kids his age playing on the swings at the park, and I could tell he wanted to go play with them. It got me thinking. Did we swing the pendulum too far just to get him away from those bullies? Kids can bounce back quick sometimes. What if this is the worst thing we could have done? Then he asked how Daddy's book was going, and without even thinking, I said, Great, my man. Felt awful right away. It's a white lie, sure, but why not be honest? When he was younger, he was just a bundle of physical needs, but now he's like a mental, emotional sponge. He's around Linda and me all the time, and I can see him changing every day in a thousand small ways. That scares the hell out of me. What am I teaching him with a white lie? 
So that's about his son and he feels bad for lying to him. You have found all of the moments in this character's memory. You can come back to re and re-examine them at any time or you can exit and explore other characters memories. Okay, so let's exit this memory. And then I guess we- Dan, we're back! Hi, Mom. Hey, Paul. Now that Linda and Tommy are home, you should look for their clues, discover what's on their minds, and explore their memories. If you learn what all of the characters want, you can earn additional opportunities to influence their story. Search the house for more writings and drawings. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Kaplan, I hope this reaches you before you leave for the summer. I know we went over this in my office, but I think Tommy is a wonderful child and I feel better putting my recommendation in writing. Children develop at different speeds and Tommy shows no signs of serious learning disorder, so the most important thing is to be patient and supportive. Make sure he does his reading exercises each day in a calm, loving environment. Make sure not to show disappointment when he struggles, which he will at first. Show encouragement when he succeeds, as self-confidence is critical at this age. If he fails to make progress with the exercises I've included, you may want to take him to the local paediatrician for further recommendations. I hope this is of some help. I look forward to seeing Tommy this September. Mrs. McMillan. So I'm guessing this is from Tommy's teacher. And he can't, he can't read very well by the sounds of it. You can always press tab to see your progress and find out what you need to do to move forward. You can press escape to view the help screen or adjust options like your screen size. Okay, we've got that. Press tab to view your goals. Search for the house for more clues. Search the house and her memories for more clues. Search the house and memories for more clues. Okay. We can do that. Let's uh Hey look have a look. Oh this is off his office, isn't it? We already searched in here. Let's see if we can go to Tommy's room. Let's see if he's got anything in here. What have you got in here, bud? Racing Roger? Oh, there's Dan. He's going downstairs. That creeped me out slightly then. <laughs> hey, little man. Oh, here's Tommy. Oh, we're in his memories. Aww. It's a picture of him and his dad. How cute. Uh, let's go see if we can find any more of Tom's, Tommy's memories. I should really probably be using the lights as that's a lot faster, but what's the point in that? <laughs> I do everything the long way. I'm trying to follow the sound, but it doesn't seem to be leading me anywhere. Hmm. Maybe it's downstairs. Let's try that. Where are his memories? Oh, here we go. We'll have to find out. Are there any other kids? Aww. So he wants to find some other kids to play with. And that's all of his memories. Let's see what he's thinking about. How do we do that? I forgot how we look at, mem at not memories, but just to see what he's thinking about. Can we not? Okay, well, 
Let's go try and find the mum. Oh, there she is. Just one Rosa. night. Let's possess her memories. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, there's one. Oh, no. Come on. Ah, how do we get out of here? There we go. Oh, I just exited the memories. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, now we've got to go back downstairs. <laughs> I know, here we go. I think we've done a good job of putting on happy faces for Tommy. If he knows there's something wrong, he's not showing it. We told him this is just a fun family vacation, and he seems to like it here so far. But this might be it for Dan and me. Neither one of us has said the word yet, but I know it's right there under the surface. We've been dancing around it. I can't even bring myself to write the word here. Writing it would be almost as bad as saying it, because once it's there, it becomes real. A thing we have to deal with. I'm not ready for that yet. We agreed to make this a fresh start. I meant it. I think he did too. Now we just have to treat each day like a new beginning. So I am guessing the word she is talking about is divorce. Um, maybe she wants one. And they're just trying to get their relationship back to how it was. Me too. Me too. Me too. I, promise. I promise. So they both promised each other that it would be a new start. And I guess we'll exit this memory. There we go. We've read all of those. Uh, search the house for more clues. Here we go. Oh. So I reckon Tommy draws all of these of him playing with his dad. You discover enough about this chapter to find out how they want to resolve this chapter. Read their thoughts to learn how you can help them. Okay, I guess we'll read her thoughts. I, How have I forgot how to do that? I just did it before. Don't you press E? Why? Now. Um, there we go. Hey, mommy. Can hey, still honey. make it work. Tommy, here we go. Let's zoom out of you a bit. Me and Daddy can play Racing Roger. To choose this character's outcome, find the object in blue text and select it. You can continue exploring the house if you'd like to discover what other characters want to do. Characters desired objects can be viewed by pressing tab. <laughs> Okay, so he wants to play Racing Roger. It's such a crazy thought, the three of us all alone in this house all summer. I never thought we could afford a place like this, but the price surprised us both when we saw it. I wonder if there's something wrong with it. Maybe it has a raccoon problem or a toilet that backs up. Guess we'll find out soon enough. Oh, and I'm painting again. I got set up today. I felt a buzz right away. So much time to work. I haven't had a space like this in forever, probably since I left the studio. I went straight into a new piece today, got lost, looked up to see it was two hours later. I think this new one has promise, though I still have some rust to shake off. Speaking of which, I'm going to go check on Dan and see if his new office is doing anything for him. He's pretty frustrated, but he has to figure something out soon, or this place won't be any different than home. Okay, so she is a painter. <sighs> And your progress is saved automatically. You can quit the game at any time and your progress will automatically restore the next time you play. Psh. Good to know. Let's uh, see if we can find any more clues for Linda. She's sat over there currently. Oops. Oh. There's Dan. Let's read his thoughts. Going to kill me if I don't break though. Oh. Okay, that seems pretty serious. No distractions here, just us. So they literally have nothing to take away their minds from this divorce or this argument that they have going on. 
Pick up more canvases, art store anywhere in town, galleries or studios. Having fun? Uh huh. We could have a bottle of wine and hang out like we used to. So she wants a bottle of wine. Wish I could help, Daddy. Blast off! Poor Tommy. If I. Paul, good to hear from you. Listen, things are taking a little longer than expected. I feel good about this one, but I haven't quite brought some of the threads together. It's just an execution hiccup, not a lack of ideas. This is the most complicated book I've ever tried to write, and let's just say I have a newfound respect for guys like Dickens and Joyce who can juggle ten threads at once without getting lost. I'm figuring some of this stuff out the hard way, I guess you could say. Anyway, the outline I sent you is still good, those are still the beats, those are still the themes I plan to explore. I'll keep you posted, Dan. Okay, so we... I can't decide which path I want to go down for this chapter. Let's go read Dan's thoughts, oh. I guess. Here we go. Wherever he is. Dan, where are you? <laughs> um... We should probably start using this. Oh, he's there. Um, read thoughts. What? Where's my notebook? I know I had something good. Okay, maybe we should give him his notebook. I don't really know how to do so. Escape. Let's go see if we can try and find his notebook. What's up? Because I feel <laughs> as if that would cause... That would help them a lot. He'd be able to get his ideas down. Is this his notebook? Writer's block. Oh, no. I can't believe it. Uh, that's his journal, I think. I just, I want to be able to give him his notebook, but I don't know where it is. Um, this game is tough. Maybe we can play later. Um, select Racing Roger. I kind of want the notebook because I feel as if that would help to solve some problems here. He'd at least be able to write and think of what he wanted to. Have we read this? Barb, how are things? Is school still taking up all of your time or is anything new going on? We've been up here for a week or so, and I can already tell it's going to be great for painting. There are hardly any distractions, and this house has a room they called the conservatory in the brochure, which really just means it has a lot of windows. Whatever they call it, it's a great space for working. The second floor blocks most of the northern light, but I'll manage. I took Tommy down to the beach today, and you should have seen how excited he was. I wish I'd brought my camera. He kept looking back up at the house like he couldn't believe it was so small from down there. He seems to have taken to this place really well so far, which is such a load off our minds. We didn't know what to expect, but so far, so good. Anyway, let me know how things are going. Yours, Linda. Okay, so that's in the little letter describing Tommy. Oh, is this his notebook? Select the notebook. Selecting the notebook will choose Dan's resolution for this chapter. Linda and Tommy will be disappointed. However, if you've discovered Linda or Tommy's discovered outcome, you'll be able to find a compromise with one of them in the next chapter. Uh, press escape to continue playing or E to choose Dan's outcome and finish the chapter. Yes, we want that because I feel as if this will help him and then we can compromise with... Uh, Mmm, I don't know who to compromise with. This is so difficult. I actually think I'm gonna end this part here, guys. The Kaplans are asleep. Explore the house for clues about its past. Then whisper your decision to Dan. So, I think I'm gonna end this part here, guys. Thank you all for watching. If you like this part, please give it a big thumbs up. As it is the first part, it will mean a lot because... I'll know how often to make this guys for you and how long you want the episodes to be and stuff like that. Leave your comments down below. I can see myself getting really into this book as uh, this book, this um, game, as it's kind of like a book. It has such a backstory behind it and it's the kind of game that I really just delve into and just want to know more about the story. 
and it has some pretty dis tough decisions so you guys have to help me out. Let me know who you want to compromise with in the next chapter. We can either compromise with the wife or we can compromise with Tommy. So let me know down below and I will speak to you all in the next part. Thank you for watching this brand new Let's Play and I hope you enjoyed. I love you all and bye guys!